Good morning. Uh, I got a call from my brother who does not know how to tie a tie. Um, I have been tying ties for him for weddings and uh, job interviews and funerals and anytime he needs a tie, uh, he comes to me. I don't know what he would do if, uh, if I moved away. Um, so generally I'll tie his tie and then just hand it to him. I'll tie it and then he'll adjust it. But I figured maybe if I put it on video, uh, he can also learn how to tie a tie and then I won't have to do it for him. So uh, this is the process. What I'm going to do is uh, make a full Windsor knot. I like the Windsor knot the best because I think it looks uh, the sharpest when it's done. It also is really easy to put together um, and it just stays in place. It has that nice triangular flat uh, thing for <clears throat> what you're looking for at the top here. So anyway, uh, first thing you're going to do, you're going to need a tie. You're also going to want to button your collar. My big fat fingers can do that. There we go. And then you're going to pull your collar up so that you have some room to work with. Oh, my little collar stays right there. So for a Windsor knot, you're going to need uh, quite a bit of the uh, wider end of your tie. So I generally pull it so that um, there's usually some sort of marking uh, on one end of the tie. It can be a um, it can be sewn or it can just be a marking. This is a Ferragamo tie, so it's got the little Ferragamo um, uh, label right here. So that's generally close to your collar. For me, it's not quite all the way up, but usually by the first button. So you've got, let me see, let me pull it back. So you, I, it doesn't go too far down. So it's um, a little bit more than twice the length of that. So basically, it's a, uh, what you do is you make a, a knot on either side and then you make a cover for that knot and pull it through and I'll show you how that works. So what you do is first you cross your right hand with the large side over your left hand with the short thin side. So you just make an X like that. Next you're going to pull this side, the wide side, underneath and through. So underneath here, see how it's under? Just like that, you've got an X. Now the next thing you're going to do is switch hands again. So you're going to pull this wide side, which is in your left hand, underneath the thin side, which is in your right hand. So you pull it underneath like this, and you've switched hands. Now I always find this little bit a little bit tricky, but again, you've got the back of the tie, which is the part with the seam in your right hand facing outward, the front of the thin side, which has no seam on it, on the left hand. So what you're going to do next is you're going to take the wide side and pull it on over. So basically you're reversing the process on what you did on the other side. So you pull it over like this. I just usually use my thumb to pull it through. So now basically what you have is the knot. So that's the knot. See how it's a nice, it's a really nice triangle. So um, I find when you're making a simple knot, it tends to, for me anyway, it tends to pull to one side. So you just got this little knot here. And so all you're going to do is make a cover for that with the wide side. Again, you've got the seam still facing outward, and so that means that when you cover it over, the seam faces inside. See how that makes a nice flat cover? And then once again, you go underneath and pull up, and then you're just going to pull that through that cover. So in order to do that, I generally just take uh, my finger and I pull a little bit of an opening, and it's just through that front. It should slide really, really easily through that. And that gives you your Windsor knot. It's really nice and flat. You can pull it as tight as you want to. You can tuck the, um, the thinner side into the back of that. And then you pull down your collar. The thing I like about that is that it's, it's flat, it's even. You can do the dimple thing. I am not great at doing the dimple thing, but you can do that if you want to. Otherwise, I think to think that it looks fairly sharp if you just pull it that way. So now I have a tie that I can give to my brother and I also have a URL uh, to this video so next time he asks me I can say well why don't you just look that up on YouTube in fact I've made one for you so hope it helps somebody um, I'll be on later probably with more hair updates or whatever uh, crossing my mind thanks